Welcome to 5 News Online. I'm Ruben Diaz. We want to get you caught up on some of the top stories going on around the state and in the area. Josh Duggar's defense team has filed another request for an acquittal or a new trial. You'll remember the jury found him guilty in federal court in December on child porn charges. Now, the 27-page document filed on Monday states that Duggar was, quote, deprived of significant constitutional rights. The defense is claiming that the government failed to show sufficient evidence in that trial. They're stating there was no evidence that Duggar personally viewed child sex abuse materials. The defense is asking that court to give Duggar a new trial. If that request is denied, they're asking for the lesser charges be dismissed before his sentencing, which is scheduled for April the 5th. All right, before we touch on some of the other stories of the day, let's make sure and check in with meteorologist Zach Scott for an update on your forecast for the day. Hey, Zach. Hey, Ruben. Hopefully everybody's able to get outside and enjoy some of this beautiful weather. You got another day tomorrow of some mild conditions. Uh, temperatures likely be even a little bit warmer and plenty of sunshine before clouds build in on Friday. Actually, the cloud cover in the 70s on Friday may even be better. Some people don't like all the bright sunshine. Yeah, they're out there. All right, we've got all that sunshine today, uh, mid to upper 70s for highs. We'll look for uh, some great evening weather. We've even got uh, some great weather for pretty much every uh, outdoor activity you can think of, especially with the low humidity that we're enjoying here the last few days. Uh, we're looking at Arkansas baseball today, having a first pitch at 3 p.m., uh, looking for 70s there. Temperatures even as we head into the evening, likely dropping from the 70s into the 60s and then eventually even 50s. So not cooling off too much, but uh, it'll be cool if you're out later this evening a little bit, but yeah, this is some great weather for early March. All right, hey, we're dry here the next few days. We're tracking some shower chances increasing as we go Saturday into Sunday. What are we looking at rainfall wise? Yeah, a few embedded thunderstorms could give us some downpours. We're looking at uh, rainfall around one to three inches possible by the weekend. Even the threat for a strong thunderstorm or two. We'll keep our eyes on that, Ruben. All right, thanks a lot, Zach. Now, a man who Fort Smith police say was involved in a deadly hit and run had court, his first court appearance this morning. A $60,000 bond had been set for James Ray Jones. Now, he faces charges including reckless manslaughter, leaving the scene of an accident, and being a habitual offender. Last month, you'll remember Christopher West was riding his bike near the intersection of Grand Avenue and 15th Street. That's when police believe Jones hit West with his pickup truck. An accident, an accident reconstruction team actually determined that West's body fell into the back of Jones's truck after he was hit. Police later discovered West's body in the back of that truck, which was parked in the suspect's backyard. Jones was again arraigned in court today. We are hearing from Arkansas lawmakers after last night's State of the Union address. Arkansas Attorney General uh, Leslie Rutledge sent this statement on Twitter during that State of the Union, uh, criticizing several of the Biden administration's policies, including inflation, rising gas prices, and immigration policies as well. All right, those are some of your top headlines. We'll continue to follow news all day long. Make sure you catch us up with us this evening on your 5 News 4, 5, and 6. I'm Ruben Diaz. Have a great day.